Hey everybody, so we're going to be talking about the Kamika mic that I got for review for free. It's going to be kind of the month or so, a little over a month review. My thoughts, my dislikes, what I, uh, what I do think is good about it, what I absolutely hate about it. So stick around and I'll see you there. Thanks for watching. So this is a quick video. This is the audio from the Kamika mic that I got for review. Um, I'm going to put this video and the... Uh, I'm going to make a separate video with the Rode mic. Um, same similar style boom mic. It's a video micro, I think, or video... Yeah, it's a video micro, I think, if I remember correctly. Um, and it's this one right here. So the mic that's on the camera I'm talking to you on, we're going to put this audio up against this one on this setup. And um, I'm going to start the review for this Kamika mic because I don't think this Kamika mic is very, very good. It, the audio, when I talk on the camera, on this camera, the audio is a lot livelier. It's more, uh, a lot louder. It's more clear. On this one, I've noticed it seems muted, kind of like if I was just talking to the GoPro. So we're going to um, put these two videos um, together on two different cameras and see how the audio sounds, um, whether it sounds different or it sounds the same. Let me know, guys, and thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Hey, everybody. So this is going to be the audio test for the Rode um, video micro I believe if I remember correctly this is going to be for comparison against the Kamika mic that I have on that that setup right there so we're going to be checking the audio differences between the Rode video micro on this camera that I'm talking to you on and this camera is a GoPro Hero 6 and this one's also GoPro Hero 6 but it's got a Kamika mic that I got for review um, that was sent to me for free for a review. So this audio is going to be the Rode mic's um, sound and um, let me know it, how it sounds, if it sounds good or not. Tell me if you like the Rode mic's um, sound, volume, how I sound, um, how my voice sounds, you know, if, if the pitch is too high, if it's too low, let me know. I'm going to splice this video with the Rode mic in with the, the Kamika mic. And we're going to compare both mics to see which one's louder, which one's not as loud. Because to me, when I play back the audio on the Rode, Rode mic on the camera, the audio sounds louder to me compared to playing the audio from the Kamika mic on this camera. The audio sounds lower for some reason to me. And I have both of these cameras on the same settings. They're both set up on um, Microphone Plus um, Boost. So it should boost the audio for both, but it doesn't seem to do it for this Kamika mic. And this is gonna be the start of the review for the Kamika mic. So please let me know what you think and um, I'll see you on the next video, and thanks for watching. Peace. All right, hey everybody, how's it going today? So, we're gonna be talking about this mic right here. So, I've had a little over a month um, to play with it, um, to be honest. Uh, so some of the likes, I like that it came with a dead cat. I like that it has the, the foam option. I like, I do like the mount, the style of mount it has. Mount is really nice. Um, I like the, the tightening screw for it right here. like 
this star tightening screw. It's got really nice grip. It's comfortable when you're trying to tighten it. Um, I like that it came with the TRS cable. So this is a the TRS to TRS. It also came with the TRS to TRRS cable, which actually two rings on this one and three rings on this one. That's how you can tell the difference. A TRS is two rings and TRRS is three rings. So it'd be top, ring, ring, and then post. Or I'd have to uh, look that up. I don't remember off the top of my head, but it, I do know that the T and the R and the R is top ring ring. So T R R. And then S. I think it's seal. Top ring ring seal, which would be a T R R S. And a top ring 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 seal. T R R S. Or I'd have to look it up. I don't remember the exact specifics. I do know that a T R S is two rings, a TRRS is three rings. Anyways, it came with both of those cables, which is nice. They're two separate cables. No specialty adapter. You need to like plug in a TRS male to a TRRS female or anything like that. It came with the cables. So that's a plus. The other plus, get it off here. So we can give it a little more in-depth review, okay? I do like it's got a quarter 20 on the bottom and a cold shoe option. So you can do either or. I have it connected to quarter 20. Um, or I can take this out and I can slide it directly in with the cold shoe. The reason I have this here is to make it taller so that it's not in the actual camera's field of view, which it still ends up being in the camera's field of view. Third thing I like, I like how tight the dead cat fits on the mic. Fourth thing I like, I like how it clips to this mount. This is what it looks like. It is a Kamika Video Microphone CVM-VM10 Roman numeral 2. Or number 2 if you want to look at it that way. It's a nice, nice mic. From looking at it on the outside, it's nice. The mount is nice. Mount could be a, a little stronger. It's a it's a little top heavy, so when this is on here, it wants to bend down. I like the dead cat. It's feels like a premium dead cat. Doesn't feel as good as my road mic. It's dead cat, but it's not a bad mic. Now, the things I absolutely hate about this mic that I would say spend the extra $15 and get the Rode Video Micro that I have that I'm talking to you on on this video it's like $15 more this thing is normally about $39 to $49 depending on whether it's on sale or not I didn't pay for it they sent me the PayPal money for free they sent it to my PayPal, I used what they sent me and directly paid for it. I didn't come out of my pocket. So, it was like, they were. this was during Amazon deals um, days or whatever. It ended up being like 29 bucks or something because it was like 10 or $15 off or some crap. It originally was $39.99. Now, what I don't like is that the Rode Video Micro for literally $54 you can get the Rode Video Micro which is the one I'm talking to you on which 
my personal opinion, has a better mount for the mic. It has a little bit nicer dead cat. It does come with a TRS to TRRS cable, but it does not come with extra cables. So the plus to this crappy mic, in my opinion, is it came with extra cables that I can use. And these cables are a lot longer, but they're thinner. They're way thinner around. And if I stretch this one that's on the camera just enough, you can see how much thicker the road cable is compared to this cable. It is a lot thicker. So that's something I like about the road cable a oh, way better. Even though it came with these cables, they work okay, but I think this might be the problem also. So, my other problem is, is this, if you, and I'll be releasing a video before this one, um, or it might be in the same video, I don't know, I might actually edit it into the same video so you can hear the differences. Actually, yes, I'm going to put it in the same video. So, the beginning of the video, I will do audio tests, and I already did them of a short recording on this camera I'm talking to you on with the Rode mic and then on this camera an audio clip for a few seconds maybe I think it's like a minute of this one and how the audio sounds now I'm pretty sure you guys would agree with me the audio on the Rode mic I'm talking to you on my voice is a lot clearer it's a lot louder compared to this one on this camera. Now the cameras are set to the same settings 1080p 30 frames per second super view with standard mic plus. Standard mic plus setting would be standard mic plus audio boost. Now they're all both cameras are set the same but for some reason this mic sounds like I'm literally talking to the GoPro microphone that came on the camera when in reality I'm talking to this. That's something I absolutely cannot stand. Especially for the price tag. I cannot recommend you guys to buy this Kamika, which is spelled C-O-M-I-C-A C-V-M-V-M-10-2. I can't, I, I can't recommend you guys buy this. For an extra $15, $20, you can get a, a Rode Video Micro, and you'll be a whole lot happier with that. It does have pluses. You know, it's got a nice dead cat. It does have a decent mount. I do like... My Rode Video Micro did not come with the quarter 20 at the bottom of the cold shoe. This one does. I do like that. That's a nice feature. But it's also quite a bit shorter these pieces right here that clamp into the mic on the road is another half an inch larger around. It's about this big. As large as my fingers around. On this one, it's really tiny. And this one doesn't seem to hold the weight very well, in my opinion. It's, it's just clamped too far back, is what I feel. And you can't You can, can clamp it to the center, but I don't know how well it will hold. It might hold perfectly fine. It seems to be holding okay in the center, but you can tell it was made to clamp right here on these two rings. The other problem with you putting it in the center like it is, is you can't put the dead cat on all the way. So it has to go, instead of here where I just had it, it has to go back here. And you can see how loosey-goosey it is. I do not like that.
Okay, so I put it back on. So, would I recommend it? No, I would not. Um, the audio quality isn't, in my opinion, good enough. I don't know if it's the mic or the cable. I have no idea. I have not checked or tested my Rode cable with this one. I don't really think it's going to matter. Maybe in the future I'll buy a, another Rode cable, the, like uh, the red one I showed you on the camera. Maybe I'll buy another one of these um, for 15 bucks, and I'll give it a try on this. If it makes this sound better, then it's not a bad mic, and I will do another video and I'll update my review. But as far as the review at the moment, I can't recommend it. It's in my opinion, it sucks. And that's my professional opinion on the matter. Um, could could it could it have been a lot better? Um, in my opinion, yeah. You know, they asked me to test this product. I'm not gonna lie for them. I'm going to give the exact review it deserves if it's a piece of crap. <coughs> if it's a piece of crap, I'm going to state it's a piece of crap. I'm not going to lie to you guys or anybody else for a, a product. It's just, it's not worth it to me. It's just a product. And that's my one of my other issues is I need to find another mount and make this a little taller. Because if you look, even though I raised it, let's see if I can turn it. Oh, I got it out of the way this time. Oh, look at that. It's not in the way of the camera anymore. Okay, well that's a plus. There is a way to keep it from being in front of the camera. See, it was like that. You can see it's in front of the camera. Now it's not in front of the camera. That's a plus. So, there are pluses, there are minuses. In my opinion, there are more minuses than pluses that make it not worth paying for. And, you know, let me know what you guys think of the audio between the Rode and the Kamika. And, and let me know if you like the Rode better, if I sound better, if, if the audio is clearer, if it's louder. Any feedback would be helpful. I, I would appreciate it. I'm going to be posting this to Amazon, and I'll be posting it to YouTube, and I will be linking the product on Amazon for the review. Like I said a, uh, a little bit ago, I'm not going to give them a good review for a crappy product. If it's a crappy product, it's a crappy product. I'm not going to recommend you guys go buy it for because I got it for free. It's just not how it works. So, let's just a look at it from the front. On the camera. It's a GoPro Hero 6 in a red case with a GoPro mic adapter and the Kamika mic. And I'm talking to you on a GoPro Hero 6 with a with a um, Rode mic and a Vivitar light. So thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell notification icon if you guys want to. If you want to see future updates, I'd appreciate that. Please go check out my Amazon affiliate links. And um, I'll leave a link in the description below for Rust Belt Mechanic. And I'll leave a link to his GoFundMe account, which is Rust Belt Mechanic Fundraiser Fund. He's doing a fundraiser trying to get up to 5,000 I think um, and if I remember correctly and he's doing it um, to give it away to two if I remember correctly it's two students that do well in, me in mechanic call, uh, school um, they're going to college they do well on their grades keep up their GPA and 
um, keep up their with their schoolwork and they do well they could get a chance to get um, some of these funds to buy tools to start off their career I think it's a great fundraiser I think Rust Belt Mechanics doing a good job over there um, at, at the shop he's at and um, if you can donate please donate to Rust Belt Mechanic um, he's a good guy he's trying to do a good deed and anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.